Welcome, my friends, to this weekly hope, inspiration, and healing. Uh, it's a great joy to meet you again after one month of break. It was not fully vacations for us, but uh, we stopped for one month the life. I know many of you were expecting that we were doing that, but for those who follow us, you have seen that we release brand new videos on our YouTube channels, and I'm sure you have been blessed. Thanks for those who wrote us. Thanks for those who wrote us also sharing the testimonies of what God has done in your life, especially for those who have been healed. It's such a blessing when you are sharing what God is doing to you. Tonight, I have a special guest and you are going to be very blessed. He's a very good friend of mine from Geneva. But before I introduce him to you, I would love to ask this precious presence of God to invade your life, to invade your room, your place where you are watching from. Uh, this is a very special season. Uh, some of you, I know they had great vacation, great summer. Some, it was more challenging uh, as maybe you've lost a friend or a family members, or maybe you've lost your job. Uh, I know all of us, we are passing through a different season, but that's the reason I'm doing this life uh, is to remember to all of you, whatever you are coming from, whatever you are watching from, if you are watching from India, Africa, Switzerland or other places, if you are a man or a woman, I have a good news. It's not about religion, it's not about the church, it's just about the one who loves you so much. His name is Jesus, and tonight we are not going to speak, like I said, about religion, but we are going to speak about hope, the one who is really the one who can give you hope for this new season or for this coming season. Uh, before that, uh, I would love to we go just together to a wonderful song called uh, There Is None Like You that has been interpreted by City Harvest Church, a great church. I've been there in uh, uh, Hong Kong, uh, sorry, Singapore, and it was just fantastic. And I would love that we can go just in the presence of God and especially that during this song, I know that some of you are already going to be touched, especially for those who are sick. So let's go to this uh, wonderful song of City Harvest Church. There is none like you and I see you soon. Now 
Lord God, that's the truth. There is none like you. That's the reason I welcome you to this live stream, asking you to touch all those who are watching right now or during the next days. We open ourselves to your presence, but also to the demonstration of power to heal the sick, to deliver the captive, but also to reveal yourself as Jesus, the only way, the only truth, and the one who wants to save us. Do it tonight in a great way. I pray and I ask, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Again, I want to welcome all those who are just tuning in, who are just connecting with us. We are so happy after one month of break regarding the life. Uh, we are back. And uh, like it's written in uh, uh, the Bible, actually, it's a fantastic book. Uh, personally, I read it every day because it's God's word bringing hope to me and giving direction. It's uh, like a spiritual food feeding me, giving me strength and courage, but direction as well and this morning when I was preparing for today I was reading 2 Corinthians 4 who said in verse 13 we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said I believed in God so I spoke and I like the next verse he said we know that God who raised the Lord Jesus we also raise us for with Jesus and present us to himself together with you. All of this is for your benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, like he will do today, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. That's why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day for our present trouble. I'm saying that for all those who are passing through storm or who are in troubles, our present troubles are small and won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So that's the reason tonight it's a great joy to come back with this life. Every week I will have that until Christmas, that's for sure. I will have a special guest every week in English and in French. Let me just talk to those who are speaking French because I see many are asking why it's not in French. I want to say that. Please connect to Instagram or Facebook. Just follow and you will have all the information and you will see there is in French and English. But let me say that in French for those who are watching. Pour les francophones, bienvenue. Uh, ce soir à 21h, j'aurai un espoir et guérison en live, en direct avec mon ami le prêtre catholique de Genève. Vous serez béni, c'est un homme rempli du Saint-Esprit qui a rencontré Jésus. Donc n'hésitez pas à vous connecter à 21h, invitez vos amis, partagez ce live, ça va être juste extraordinaire, on priera pour les malades, mais aussi allez sur les réseaux sociaux pour suivre les différentes informations puisque j'aurai ces lives toutes les semaines. Again, to the English speaking people, welcome to this live, this weekly hope and healing. Today we are going to experience great things. But now it's my joy to introduce to you a very good friend of mine and my family, we are very close actually, even during the vacation we see very shortly because we were in the same village. And uh, it's a privilege to introduce Bedros Nassanian and his wife Rebecca are the founding directors of Noor Global. Based in Geneva since 2009, their ministry, ministry is anchored in worship and prayer. They equip believers through seminars and events celebrating the diversity of the body, gathering old and new church expressions as one around Jesus for a witness to the world. Bedros is a gifted preacher who is passionate about faith and prayer. He and Rebecca regularly minister in prophetic worship along with their five children. Their joy is to see every person filled with light, hope and purpose, bringing blessing in every sphere of life. So tonight, it's a great privilege to welcome my friend Bedros Nazanian from Geneva. Great to be with you, Jean-Luc. Thank you for having me on. Uh, it's a privilege for us that you take this time. I know you are busy. You're also in changing season. Maybe you will talk about that. Uh, but so we love you so much. We love your wife and your family. Such a beautiful family. 
How are you doing, Bedros? I'm doing great. It's a joy to be with you. I've been looking forward to, to be with you and to be with all those who will be watching tonight uh, to share about the hope we have in Jesus. So it's a great pleasure to and privilege to be with you and with those who are watching today. That's right. Uh, Bedros, uh, this show is not to play religious things. Actually, it's not a religious <laughs> program. We are real. We love Jesus, of course. Uh, because we met him, we discovered him, but we are not speaking about churches or denominations. But also, as humans, we are passing through challenges. And I know because we are friends and we are praying daily for you and your family. Uh, I don't know if you can share openly what yeah. your main challenge today. <laughs> yeah, well, those who know us, they, they know that we've been on a journey. And so we've had a starting point and we're going into a certain direction. And right now, as we're in this journey, we're kind of in an uncertain situation in the natural uh, because we uh, had to leave where we've been living for the almost five years, our home, family home, on the 1st of August. And since the 1st of August, which is over almost four weeks now, uh, we are still waiting for our next home to open up. Uh, so we, we saw a place that we felt uh, the Lord lead us through different ways. And, and we were praying for that place, fully expecting it to open up by the 1st of August, but, but it didn't. And so over the last few weeks, uh, we've been waiting. And in the meantime, it's quite amazing where the family of God, it really is a family that we can serve one another. And so we've been blessed to have multiple friends uh, who have welcomed us. Um, I have a beautiful wife, Rebecca, who I wish was with me on this show, but next time yeah. maybe. And we have five children, so there's seven of us. Um, so we've been really um, trusting the Lord to lead us each step of the way and still waiting for, for the right place to open up at the right time. And in the meantime, being so thankful for all the blessing that the Lord has given us uh, that we take for granted a lot of time. So that's a little bit of where we're at today, uh, waiting on the Lord, waiting to see how God's going to do a miracle in our own family as we need a place to open up. Wow, thanks for sharing openly this challenge. Uh, I would love that you help us and you explain us, uh, especially for those who are watching, maybe they are not Christian, they are uh, maybe atheists or Buddhist or Muslim or whatever. Uh, in who did you put your hope? And you look like so relaxed and happy. And how do you manage this situation? Yeah, well, I can go back maybe a little bit of my upbringing, and, and uh, I'm Armenian for all my Armenian friends who already recognize my last name that ends with an I-A-N, so that those are usually Armenian names. Uh, so we're a, a people with a big diaspora. Uh, there is the nation Armenia, but I was born in Beirut, Lebanon, so I'm from Lebanon as well. And uh, at the age of 10, my family, we moved to Cyprus, the beautiful island of Cyprus. So I'm Armenian, Lebanese, Cypriot in Geneva for over 12 years now. Um, but I grew up in a Christian home. And so I grew, went to church regularly. My dad would preach in churches. My grandparents were preachers as well, my grandfathers. And so I grew up with uh, the Bible stories with Jesus and celebrated Christmas and Easter, like all other Christian families I knew. Uh, but it was when I was 17, 18 years old, and I used to read my Bible, you know, just like you said you did. And uh, But then I started asking questions. I said, do I uh, believe in Jesus? Am I a Christian just because I was born in a Christian home? Or do I believe it because I really believe it? Uh, is there only one way to God, or is there many ways to God? And so as a teenager, I started to ask questions, real questions, as I read my Bible and in a very sincere way, wanting God to answer my questions. Um, and it was around that time where I met my wife's family that are also believers in Jesus, uh, but they worship differently than I was used to worshiping. They had a lot more emotions and, and uh, some things that were uncomfortable for me. Uh, and I wasn't sure if it was right or wrong because it was outside of my culture, my, my experience. Uh, but at the age of 20, by that time, I had a real encounter with, with the Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of God in a very real way, uh, which took away all my doubts and my, my concerns or my, my um, questions. Uh, of course, I had more questions that came uh, with those first answers that God gave me. And it's really been a journey that goes on where God has 
shown himself faithful through Jesus uh, each step of the way. Uh, and whenever I am tempted to doubt where will we be tomorrow or what was going to happen next week, we don't. I don't just have the, the word of God, but I have God's faithfulness in my own life uh, over the last many years now of his faithfulness. How he has come through time and time again with provision, with miracles, uh, and with with who he is. And so that's that's who I put my faith and my trust in. It's in Jesus. And uh, when you are passing through these challenges, like uh, looking for a house without house since four weeks already, how do you deal that with you, God, this Jesus yeah. that you are caring about? Well, that's a good, great question, Jean-Luc. I think there's two sides to it. The first part is we come as a family to pray and to worship. Uh, and so it's the vertical connection. And so we encourage each other as a family and we, uh, and we, we try our best in everything that we can do. And so that's, that's one part. And then the second part is, is that we have a lot of friends who are not just praying for us, but who are showing their love, their support in very tangible ways. And that, that's a big part. I mean, I think uh, we're, you know, through faith in Jesus, we're part of a very big family. And when Jesus was here on earth, he would constantly talk to his father, which is called prayer. Um, and when the disciples came and said, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Jesus said, here is how you should pray. You start with our father. And so he didn't say, say, oh, big almighty God or Oh, creators. And Jesus said, no, no, you talk to God as your father. And so if he is my father and he is your father, that means we're siblings, we're brothers. Oh. <laughs> and I think that's a very big part that when we go through difficult times, we don't go alone. It's not just the invisible God, so to speak, that is with us, but there's a tangible um, family here on earth uh, that is there to support, that is there to love, that is there to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And that's what we have experienced as a family over the last uh, three and a half weeks as we have left where we were. And that's what has brought great joy into our hearts to see that the family of God is real. It's not just uh, uh, nice words, or uh, but, but, but it's, it's tangible and it's real. Thanks so much, Bedros, for sharing these beautiful things. I, I, we can see that it's not in the head, it's not the theology, it's real experience. And that's beautiful. By the way, I want to welcome all those who are watching from around the world. I would love to know where you are watching from. If you can put on the chat, if you are watching through YouTube or Facebook, just put the city and the country where you are watching from. We would love to recognize and to say you hi. Uh, I've seen already people from Senegal. May the Lord bless you. Many people from uh, Switzerland, France. Uh, hello, Rosalie from the west of Africa. Uh, I've seen also there is a, a person who wrote, oh, share, there's somebody, share account, I don't know the name. Uh, good evening from Sweden, that's beautiful, welcome. And even if we don't know your name, Rosemary from Miami, God bless you. There is a Monique who say I'm Armenian too. I want to say Armenian people are so precious and we love you. We are praying for you. And actually, I'm praying for Armenia. If you're watching from Armenia, I know since two years that a revival is coming to this country. So get ready. Uh, I see now many people are writing. So that's uh, fantastic. Uh, welcome, Anna from Malaysia, Sarah from LA, California. Uh, Faruzan from Brussels, may the Lord bless you, Evelyn from Chad, uh, Monique from Pennsylvania, Kaila from France, God bless you, Bill from Norwich, UK, Ariane from Canada, Elise from Washington, Kath from the UK, it's coming, we like to see and to read, welcome to all of you, it's this weekly life, hope and healing, uh, by the way, if you go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, I want to send you the free weekly hope inspiration. Every week, God spoke to me uh, the last year, I have to write every week. It's not somebody who is writing, it's I write. I download something from heaven and I release on this earth. It's full of hope, energy is like the vitamin C from heaven. It will boost your system, boost your energy. So just 
take it for free. You just go to the website, jeanlucetraxel.org and just sign up and we will send it every week. This hope inspiration with a song connected to the subject that I'm dealing, but also a healing testimony is because I'm seeing almost every day people getting healed like you are going to be healed today. And also a quote, uh, so be sure to register for that. Uh, but now let's go back uh, with what Bedros was sharing about uh, this precious God where he put hope in him, but also this wonderful family of God. Uh, Bedros, uh, I know many people are watching, like you've seen from many places, actually. We just see uh, others are coming from France, Emma, Engelin, uh, Rosalie. I guess the flag is Senegal or Cameroon. Um, there is somebody also from Lebanese, from Lebanon. Uh, that's just fantastic for those who are speaking French. À 9h, 21h ce soir, j'aurai un live avec le prêtre uh, Pascal Destieux de Genève. Ça sera juste extraordinaire. Et on priera aussi pour le Liban et tous ceux qui, nous con qui se connectent. Uh, Bedros, can you just help us to understand how we can be part of God's family? If uh, I'm coming from a Muslim family or a Buddhist or I'm just atheist, what do I have to do to be part of this wonderful family that you've shared? Oh, that's that's a good question, Jean-Luc. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's simple. Uh, it's believing in Jesus. And Jesus came 2,000 years ago to reveal who the Father is, who the Creator, who God is. And he made a statement. He made a big declaration. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And, uh, and then he showed that declaration by going to the cross where he took the penalty, he took the price of our sins and our the curse of sin, what separated us from God in the first place. Jesus said, I will pay the debt. I will pay what you cannot pay. I will pay it for you. And if you believe in me, then you have access to this. To the Father, you have access to God, and and so being part of the family of God, being able to come to Him as uh, our Father, is to cry out and to believe in the name of Jesus, to believe who He is and what He has done on the cross, and to receive salvation, to receive the free gift of the righteousness of God, which is only in Jesus. And so it is very simple, and uh, and He did all the hard part. He went to the cross. He took the pain. He took the suffering. He took the curse so that we could receive the gift of salvation and be receive a new heart, receive a new identity, uh, receive a new name, uh, his name to become part of our name and, uh, and to have access by his spirit that comes and lives in us. And so it's open to all the world. It's open to all people from all uh, nations, tongues and tribes. And, and there's no there's no one that cannot be saved because it's a gift for everybody. What a good news you are just sharing. And the good news is all those who are watching now or the next days, you are avail you are able to make this prayer and to be part of this family right now. Bedros, would you and maybe help these people who are watching who never gave their life to Jesus or are willing to be part of this family and to get saved. Can you maybe help them to do a prayer that they can repeat after you? And uh, we would just want to help you guys to experience this greatest miracle to uh, mean to be born again. That's just fantastic to become a new creature, new life, a son of God, a daughter of God. And uh, you can experience that right now if you open yourself to the spirit and the presence of God, and Bedros will probably help you if he agree to experience that right now. Yeah, it's a privilege. And Apostle Paul, who wrote a lot of the New Testament in, in Romans 10, he says, if you believe in your heart and you confess your, with your mouth, you will be saved. Now, what does that mean? That means that you believe who Jesus is. You believe what we read in the Bible, what we read uh, in the Gospels, that he was uh, born from a virgin, from Mary, that he was crucified on the cross, that he was in the tomb for three days, and then he was raised to life, that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, and that he ascended to heaven, 
And at his coming back, that is the full gospel from the very beginning to the end. If we believe that with our heart and then we declare it, we speak it out. Our words have power. And we read in, the, in, in, in this Bible, in the Bible in Genesis, where God spoke the world into being. So God has given us the ability to speak. And as we speak, we create with our words. And so you can speak and you can uh, repeat after me uh, and repeat after me with faith, with believing. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to this world for showing us who the Father is. Thank you for dying on the cross for me, for my sins. I receive your gift of life. I ask that you forgive my sins, that you come and live in my heart. And I say you are my Lord. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. And if you've done this prayer, we release right now the power of the Holy Spirit that you can experience these great miracles to be born again. In Jesus' name, I release this life over your spirit, over you, you, even your body and your soul. In the name of Jesus, this resurrection power that will bring you this eternal and abundant life in the name of Jesus. If you have been bound by demonic spirit, you have been practicing occultism or any kind of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus, as you were living in darkness, not choosing to follow Jesus, I set you free in Jesus' name. Be free. I break every curse, every Curses coming from your family, generational curses. I set you free in the name of Jesus and receive right now his peace, his joy, his abundant love in the name of Jesus. Receive him right now in Jesus' name. If you've done this prayer, we want to stay in touch with you. Be sure to go to our website to know Jesus. I want to send you a free booklet uh, that you will receive, even in different languages. We have done that, that will explain you a little bit about how to walk with Jesus. Also, I want to encourage you to go to Google or to your, uh, to your computer and to find out Alpha Course. Alpha Course is just fantastic because it's not a church or denominations. It's many churches who came together not to, to attract you to come to their place, but to help you to discover who Jesus is and to become a disciple of Jesus. So go to alpha.org and you will find out all the information. There is this training or this course in your place, in every nation of the world. There is in different languages as well. And uh, I'm sure you will enjoy and please do it as well as reading the Bible and finding a local community. If you need help, please just contact us and we are willing to help you as you can also receive private prayer. You go just to healing-ministries.org. There are people available. There is a prayer line available to pray for you even personally, or you can send a prayer request. All those who are writing, we answer. It's not an automatic thing. We read it and we re re respond. We send an answer, a private answer regarding your request. We have people praying for you, but also we are willing to send you an uh, anointed handkerchief. What is it? It's just a piece of tissue where we've prayed over and we believe that when you're going to touch it, it will be a point of contact with God's power, our faith, and you need. And God is going to heal you as we've seen so many, many people getting healed. Right now, I want just to pass you and to invite you to our school, healing school, which is going to start in French and in English. Just a short uh, clip, a video clip, and then we come back to pray for the sick. So get ready, invite your friends, your family, Send this link to your friends to be part of this life right now. But let's watch this wonderful invitation.
Welcome back to this live weekly hope and healing. We just had a wonderful time with Bedros who was sharing about his testimony, his challenges. By the way, if you are living in Geneva and you have a house or a home or you have a good address where this wonderful family can uh, have a great place, please contact us. We'll transfer that directly to Bedros because he's a good friend of us and we love him so much uh, and we are praying for that and we believe that god will answer maybe through your help so just connect us uh, right now we are going to pray for the sick bedras i know you are a man of faith and even you have seen yourself uh, testimony you have seen healings and mm -hmm. miracles can you share about that uh, to help the people to get the miracles today yeah, well, you know, as I as I shared earlier that I grew up in church and I read my Bible, but the part that bothered me was I would read the Bible and, and particularly the ministry of Jesus and the good news, not just in words, but in action. And at that time, I, in my own life, I, I didn't see those kinds of actions. Um, and, and Jesus promised in his word, he said, those who believe me, they will do the same works and even greater works than this he will do. And that was part of my hunger uh, to go after God in a more dedicated way, in a more serious way, not just to do what just tick the box that I was a good enough Christian, but to really pursue God, to really diligently seek God. And, and that was about 20, 21 years ago now. And, and it's been an amazing time to see God's faithfulness come because he is the same yesterday, today and forever. And in order for us to receive healing, the first thing we have to do is to really expect it. Not only that God can do it, but God wants to do it and God will do it. That, that's where hope comes in our heart. That it's not just a wishful thinking, but it is rooted in his promise and in his nature and to pursue, to pursue and to be open to receive what he has to give us. Hmm. That's so wonderful. Bedros, do you have a healing testimony that you can share to the people what God has done in your life or to other places? Yeah, I mean, I remember one time I was praying for my aunt, um, praying for her eyes. And, and I, I was praying. I said, I'm going to pray in faith for her eyes. And, and, uh, and I asked her, I said, can I put my hands on your shoulder as I pray for your eyes? I don't even know why I didn't say, can I put my hands on your eyes? But I prayed, I put my hand on her right shoulder, uh, on her left shoulder, and, and after I was done praying, she said, amen. And I don't know if it was right away or the day after she said that it didn't change her eyes, but that whole day she had pain in her shoulder. And the minute I put my hand on her shoulder to pray for her eyes, her shoulders got healed. And, and so that was really interesting that how God re-diverted my prayers to bring healing where my aunt was hurting, even though I wasn't conscious of it. Um, and, and so that was kind of a neat testimony. And, uh, and another testimony I can share maybe with eyes is one of my daughters wears glasses. And, and I was really sad because I, I knew she didn't like wearing glasses. And so we were really praying that God would heal her eyes, that she didn't need to wear glasses anymore. And this was a few years ago. Well, only a few months ago when we went to the um, optician and um, he, to get new glasses, the optician said, oh, I said, actually, there's a new technology now where you can put lenses at night and when you wake up, you don't need to wear glasses. And so for the last two months now, my, my daughter doesn't wear glasses anymore because through medicine and innovation, oh. there's an amazing technology that she just puts lenses at night. And so sometimes God's ways are higher than our ways, but he answers prayers and, and he is faithful. And he is, uh, more than anything, he is after our hearts. And, uh, and so I pray for you tonight that as you're watching and as you're listening, that faith will rise in your heart and God's amazing ability to show his love for you personally. Thank you so much, Bedros, for sharing these testimonies and uh, what you believe. And we believe together that tonight, many of you are going to get touched. So be sure to share this live to your friends, your family. Uh, don't keep this good news for yourself. Uh, today is the day that this generation may hear the good news. And that's the reason it's fantastic to have this cell phone. You just share, if you're on Facebook, you share the post that other can watch it. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you just copy the link 
and you send it through WhatsApp or Messenger, whatever, the link to your friends so they can be part of this moment. In a few minutes, we are going to pray. Uh, regarding the testimonies, I want to say big thanks to all those who are writing us back for what God has done for you. And uh, if God is touching you, don't keep that for yourself secretly. Also, don't believe this lie. Some people believe that if they share, the sickness will come back. That's a lie from the devil. It's just the opposite. If you share what God has done for you, God will be glorified. Other will find back also their health or will get a healings and miracles because what God has done for you, he want to multiply that. And I want to say a big thank for those who wrote us. And actually, uh, every week, I'm just sharing these testimonies. If you go to the social medias, um, Instagram or Facebook, be sure to, to follow that. And you will find some of these testimonies. And let me read this uh, last three one. Uh, this one is a very fresh one. Uh, I had asked for prayers for my allergies. I had red itchy eczema on all my limbs for several years. And for the last two weeks, it has all disappeared. Thank you for your fervent prayers. Glory to our Lord Jesus Christ who still heals. That's wonderful. Just through prayers, like we will do in a few minutes, this person was healed from eczema. Another testimony that's fantastic because I know that many of you are suffering from this terrible disease, suffering from fibromyalgia. For so many years, I asked for prayers during a healing meeting, like now, and was instantly healed. I have no more pain. If God has done that for this person, he will do it for you. Let me read the, the last testimonies of today. But again, just follow us and you will see so many people getting healed. The last testimony I will read for tonight. Uh, oh, that's a good one also. Translating for Jean-Luc as a minister and gave words of healing, I was completely healed of the pain in my shoulder, regaining my full mobility. Glory to God. That just happened actually this summer when I was preaching uh, in Stuttgart, Germany. So God is able to touch you if you are watching. Open yourself right now. And I will ask Bedros uh, maybe to start and then I will follow and we will minister together. We will flow uh, together. Be sure also to write on the chat what you are expecting from, uh, what you are expecting, uh, what you need. Just write on the chat. Uh, I know that some of you wrote it in the beginning of this uh, live. Unfortunately, it's limited to 150 messages on my screen. So all those who wrote in the beginning, it's already gone. So just write it back and we are going to read it and to pray specifically for you in Jesus' name. Bedras, would you agree to start to pray and let to flow wherever the Lord is going to lead you? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, we thank you, Lord, for heaven that is invading earth. We thank you, Lord, for uh, you taught us to say, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we remind ourselves and we declare in the atmosphere that in heaven, there is no sickness. There is no cancer. There is no COVID. There is no tears even in heaven and, and, and there's no pain. And so we thank you, Jesus, that you on the cross took the punishment, that you took the, the sickness and all disease and all infirmity on you so that we could have peace. We could have shalom. And so, Lord, we come in agreement with those who are in need of breakthrough, physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing. We thank you, Lord, for heaven to break through into homes, into families, into whole villages and cities tonight, Lord. We thank you, God, for faith to rise up in hearts that are hearing your word. We thank you that faith that comes by hearing, hearing your word, that Life will manifest where there has been sickness and death in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We say yes and amen. We believe for that. For those who just tune in, you are watching the live weekly hope and healing every week. I have a special guest right now. I'm with my friend Bedros Nasanyan from Geneva, believing right now that God is willing to touch you in Jesus name. I release with Bedros our faith 
that the power of God can touch you in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord God, for Rosalie, that your eyes, lungs, neck, and heels and hip may be healed in the name of Jesus. I command this dental trouble to disappear and to be healed. I command the heart palpitations to stop in the name of Jesus. Be healed, my friend, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just write to the chat so we can read and pray. I pray for Foros and Chef Kufes eyes. Um, it's wonderful to ask prayer for others and we will pray, but please share what's going is doing now. Share the post, share the, the link to your friends so they can experience uh, themselves this prayer. But I pray for those, uh, for this person that you're asking for, uh, touch Shekufe from her eyes problem in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for Marjie who have this mental problem. Oh, I pray for the peace of the Holy Spirit to invade this person in the name of Jesus. We pray for Laura and Alexandre that can find a place, a job, because God is the healer, but also the restorer and is the guide who will provide for all your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release the power of God over Monique. Touch her eyes. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody who writes, how can we receive this prayer cloth? I want to say, if you have writing to our address, uh, healing-ministries.org, we are going to send you for free. Uh, if you release, you give the physical address, we are going to answer your prayer request, but to send you also this anchor shift. We pray for Frederike, who is in a wheelchair, Touch her, Lord, as she is or he is in this wheelchair since eight years. We do believe that you have the power in the name of Jesus. Uh, before I ask Bedros to follow uh, what the Lord is doing, maybe you have word of knowledge. I pray for Monique, who has this breast cancer and thyroid trouble. Be healed, Monique. In Jesus' name, Yolanda, be free from COVID-19. In Jesus' name, I pray for Mrs. Sarkisian, who has this blurry vision. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Uh, touch her in Jesus' name. Bedros, maybe you have something that you have in mind, something from the Lord, a word of yeah. knowledge or whatever. Well, I think I just, I just want, I feel like one of the things that the Lord wants to do tonight as well is to, to remove all fear. Uh, I think in, we're living in a day where there's so much new bad news and so much uh, in society and all over the world. There's a, the pandemic and there's so much uncertainty of what's happening, what's going to happen next. And uncertainty can bring fear in our heart. It can flood our heart with fear. But love does the exact opposite. Love kicks out fear. And love is what brings hope in our heart. Uh, and the Bible says that um, hope, we have hope in him because of the love of God that has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit in, in Romans 5. And so I want to pray uh, for mm. you. If you say, I don't feel I have hope, it's probably because fear has come in your heart. And so when you look towards the future, you are seeing it from a lens, from a fear perspective. And what God wants to do today is to remove that lens and to give his perspective, which is one of love. And so, Lord, I just pray and I declare your word where it says perfect love casts out. It, it, it throws away. It, it kicks out. It's a violent exit. <laughs> it thrusts out fear. So we thank you, Lord, for each person that is watching uh, this uh this broadcast, every area of fear, fear of man, fear of COVID, fear of cancer, fear of losing your job or losing your home, fear of the unknown, whatever it is that's trying to keep your heart and your vision in a place that you are, uh, you are, you are in bondage. We thank you, Jesus, your perfect love to just come and to kick out fear from people's hearts in jesus name amen amen that's a great miracle that is taking place in your place receive this peace in your house in your body in your life even in your relations in the name of jesus i pray lord god to heal marie andre 
heal her in Jesus' name. I command to this vocal cords of Anna Lim to be healed in the name of Jesus. Uh, I exercise this spiritual gift that God gave me to do miracles. Uh, I just touch now through the power of the Holy Spirit your vocal cords uh, and I put it in the right place. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch Laura, visit her, Lord God. Uh, I pray for this person from Romania. Visit her as well. Touch her. I command this pain sciatics with, make, with touching Nicole. I release the power of God. I unlock and block the sciatic nerves in the name of Jesus. And I release this wonderful healing over your body right now. Bedros, do you still have a word for those who are suffering before uh, we will cl conclude? For those who are suffering, maybe a word of knowledge, you still have something? Well, I, I know some mentioned about eyes as well. And even the, as I shared in the testimonies, Lord, we thank you, God, for vision. We thank you, God, for perfect vision. We thank you, God, for natural eyes to open. We thank you, God, for blurriness to be gone. And we thank you also, Lord, for new vision uh, spiritually as well. We thank you for those who haven't experienced you. I thank you, God, for dreams and visions in the nighttime that they will encounter the resurrected Jesus, the resurrected, glorious Jesus. I thank you for those who have been going to church for years and years and years. I thank you, God, for fresh vision of Jesus, the resurrected King, to flood your heart, to flood your eyes, and to flood your uh, dwelling place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We pray for Deborah that she can recover from this transplantation of the liver and kidney. Be healed, Deborah, in Jesus' name. I pray for Nettie who is suffering from esophagus cancer uh, of Joseph. She's asking prayer for Joseph. I pray for Joseph who is suffering from cancer, but all those who are watching suffering from incurable disease. Jesus, you came on this earth. And through your stripes, as you went to the cross, uh, there is healing right now for us. Uh, receive, my friends, this precious healing. It is for you. It is free. Only believe. God's glory is invading in all your body. I command your blood system to be healed. Your brain to be healed. All the nerves, the muscles, every part of the body, I command them to be Touched by the power of the Holy Spirit and every infection, inflammation as to live in Jesus' name. I pray for Miriam who is suffering from this heart cancer, from cancer of the heart. Touch Diana who is suffering from scoliosis, spine pain. Be healed in Jesus' name as you are watching from New Zealand. We bless you. We bless your country actually. Um, probably Bedros had the same invitation. I was invited to speak with George and Banner for Australia and for New Zealand. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to join this meeting, but be sure for those who are watching from these countries, we are praying for you, believing God's glory that will invade your place uh, as he will do for all your places. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Timothy was this abdominal abdominal pain be healed in jesus name hello be free from this no sickness uh, in the name of jesus uh, and for those who are watching from the french country speaking in french uh, pour ceux qui parlent français à 21 h ce soir heure paris heure suisse j'aurai un live espoir et guérison pour les francophones ce soir même donc n'hésitez pas à se connecter allez sur les réseaux sociaux sur la chaîne YouTube euh, et vous trouverez le lien de Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries et vous aurez toutes les informations for all those who are speaking English we arrive at the end but Bedros do you have a final word full of hope for this generation yeah well I, I just you know I was praying about that thinking about it and and I was reminded that um, a few years ago, we were going through some transition, uh, just like we are right now, where we're moving <laughs> a house and there's unknown things happening. And, and a lot of times when we think about transition, it, it's intimidating. It is scary. We, we want it to go quick. We want the transition to be quick from A to B and for us to be 
uh, in the new secure place. Um, but one early morning, I was on my bicycle near Lake Geneva, and it was early morning, and I was looking at the sunrise. And it was so beautiful that I stopped my bike, I got off my uh, bike, and I took my phone, and I started taking a picture of the beautiful sun rising and from darkness into light. And as I was watching the colors change and, and the formations of the clouds, I felt God speak to me. And God said, isn't that beautiful? I said, yes, God, it's so beautiful. And then I felt the Lord say, well, when is it the most, what are the most beautiful times of the day that you watch the skies in amazement? I said, well, it's sunrise and sunset. Mm. And I felt the Lord say, yes, transitions can be beautiful with me. And that's when I realized that it's in transition that God wants to be with us. God wants to display his glory. God wants to take us from one level of glory to another level of glory. So I want to encourage you in these times of changing, instead of being intimidated, afraid of what's coming next, invite the Holy Spirit, invite the glory of God, and expect God to show His glory through your transition, through your changes, so that people around can say, wow, God is great. And so that's my encouragement to you. As you might be going through a time of transition, time of hardship, Jesus wants to demonstrate his glory through your challenges, through your situation and circumstances. Wonderful. Thanks so much. I take it for myself, my family, and our ministries, and take it for yourself. Transition is beautiful with God. It can be beautiful, and I believe it is beautiful. It will be beautiful. Let me just share you share that with you, my friends. Uh, God spoke to me uh, just before summer, spoke to me that there is a fresh move of God that will touch us at the end of summer and the beginning of the fall time. Go to my YouTube channel and go to look. There is this uh, uh, video that I have done specially for you uh, that God is going to visit you in a very powerful way. Uh, maybe Marisa can put the name. I forget already the name because I'm just looking the different things. But uh, uh, go to look this video. I really believe that something will happen at the end of summer, beginning of fall time. It will be a fresh wind that will come and touch you. So stay tuned with us. Connect with us. If you're on the YouTube, just uh, follow it, uh, subscribe it, uh, because many things are coming and you will be blessed. Uh, we are preparing also to do the uh, event uh, live, face-to-face uh, -face meetings. Uh, so we will still doing the things on YouTube and uh, it will be just powerful. Great things are coming, so be sure to connect with what the Lord is doing because he's willing to bless you in Jesus' name. Just uh, also no, uh, take uh, the note, um, the next he Hope and Healing, it's going to be Wednesday, September the 1st. I will be with Tim Reinhardt from Germany. Uh, there will be a Miracles Healing Night. Uh, that's a global one. It's, for, it's translated in 10 different languages, uh, uh, including in French or English, of course. Uh, uh, so be sure to join us September the 11th at 7 p.m. Also on the 11th September, uh, of course, everybody or most of us, we remember what has happened years ago. But this year we will remember as well because it's this, the annual Impulse Healing Day. So be part of that. It's a free event. You just need to register to have the different link and to receive the program. So be sure to go to healing-ministries.org to be part. It's going to start the afternoon. It's just like four hours with workshop, different speakers. We will have the prophet bless Tommy, who is going to prophesy over you and over your nation. It will be powerful. We'll pray for the sick. And especially if you want to be part of this healing movement, start a miracles healing service in your place or a healing rooms or whatever, uh, just connect with us and be part of this event. And uh, for the French one, the 30th of September, I will be with Sir Judith Miriam at 7 p.m. More information, go to the social medias or just subscribe to our website and you will receive all of them for free. We arrive at the end again, Bedro. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Uh, you are such a blessing. 
uh, knowing that you are passing through some tension and transition and you are still relaxed, smiling and full of God. It's such a great testimony for all of us. And uh, be sure that we are praying for you, praying that you can find a house again for those who are living in Geneva. What are you looking for exactly? Do advertisements so maybe some people can help you. <laughs> yeah, we're pr praying for the right door to open up uh, just outside Geneva. Uh, it's called Terre Sainte, so Holy Holy Land in, in French, and uh, we're looking for a place for our five children and our cat. And so thank you for praying. We pray for that. And if you can help those who are watching, just contact us. We will transfer your contact or your advice directly to Bedros. May the Lord bless you. And never forget, there is hope in God. As we finish with this beautiful song, uh, raise a hallelujah. Actually, this song was written in a very terrible crisis. It was a boy who was dying and um, people were praying from all around the world, Bedros as well. We prayed, we came together, we know this family. And uh, out of this tragedy, suddenly a song came, raise a hallelujah. And this boy gets totally healed, he's in perfect health, he's growing up, he's just fantastic. This miracle would took place as he was dying at the hospital. They raised a hallelujah, we raised a hallelujah today over your life, over your situation, over this transition time, and miracles will take place as there is hope in God. God bless you. See you soon.
you, Lord. 